hey, I hope you're taking care of yourself at home, uh, taking care of your family, your loved ones, uh, being smart, being safe, washing those hands, covering your mouth. In this video, we're going to focus on spontaneity. Being spontaneous means performing based on a sudden inner impulse and without premeditation. In other words, it's unrehearsed and it's unconstrained. Just what pops up in your head. Bah. Money. A book. A shoe. Perfume. Now you try. A shoe, a book, perfume, now you try. An iPhone 10. Grandma. Dinner. A turtle. Now you try. So how'd you do? Yeah, 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 okay, getting there, getting there. Well, here are a few notes. So in the first part of the exercise, we were calling it what it was. Now this was probably easy because we've been trained our whole lives. We've been trained and conditioned from the time we were a baby all the way up to right now to identify the thing with its right description. So if you see a face, you call it a face. If you see a phone, you call it a phone. Now the second part of our exercise, calling it the thing before, um, this part may have been a bit more challenging because it forces us to use our short-term memory. Now, short-term memory is important to being able to think on the fly or improvise it. Yes, you are making these things up as you go along, but it's very helpful to you and your scene partner, partner to remember the things that you've made up. So storing in your short-term memory um, the most recent thing that you've heard or the most recent thing that you've experienced um, in your performance is going to help inform the very next thing that you do. Finally, calling it whatever you want may have been even more of a challenge. Now, if you got hung up or you hesitated, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up. We often block ourselves because we want to stick to these parameters and rules and, and limits that we've been conditioned and trained to follow. As an improviser, you are making up the world, so you are also creating the rules that exist in this world. So if you say that you see a cat, then you see a cat. If you are pointing down and you say that look at the sky, then you've now established that that's the sky. Here, the only limit 
is your imagination. So there are no boundaries here. And um, this exercise was to push you to be unrehearsed and unconstrained, spontaneous. So when we step on stage and when you go into this space where you're improvising, where you're creating in real time, you get to do it. And I want you to become more spontaneous and do it without the fear of judgment of what you have to say. So there is no right or no wrong. There's no, oh, I'm, I'm silly because I pointed at the wall and I called it um, a door. You can call it a door if that's what you want to call it. Um, if you want to call it a cat, it's a cat. If you want to say this is a phone, this is a phone, this is a phone. Hello, I got to call somebody. The first and most essential part of improv and becoming an improviser and using this skill anywhere in your life is being able to comfortably say the things that come to your mind. Um, in, in improv, I want you to be able to open your mouth and without self-judgment, without you yourself saying, what will they think of me if I say this? Say your thing. It's okay. And so keep practicing this thing. Um, you can do it at the house. You can do it in the car. You can do it by yourself. Uh, point to stuff and make it something else. And force your imagination to then believe it to be the thing you're in. Next time you're in a car, you're on a boat. <laughs> Tell yourself that you're in a spaceship. And if you're in a spaceship, then the door handle must be a lever to go faster or slower. In this space, your imagination is the limit.